Hello and welcome to Mia Proba. This quick video is to demonstrate some special use cases where organizations are using Mia Proba to provide program visibility into organizational metrics. And so uh, this is one that's specific, uh, I would say primarily in the financial industry, but you can apply to lots of different industries. So um, let me be clear, Mia Proba has absolutely no relationship with Bank of America. Uh, I'm using it because they're down the street for me and um, I think it demonstrates this use case nicely. Um, but again, no relationship with Bank of America, no clue if they're doing this, but I suspect that they probably might be. So um, the testing teams at Bank of America have lots of different goals. Uh, they probably have testing programs targeted to unknown traffic, to prospects, to different types of customers, and there's varying success events. But one that probably spans a lot of the different uh, roadmaps is new, new accounts, uh, account completes, that sort of thing, for all of their tests that are targeted to prospects. And so what in Mia Proba, what such a financial industry would do is they would go into our admin console within here, they go to test setup. And I should add, Mia Prova, as part of onboarding, we work with you all to define what, what program metrics make the most sense. And so this is one that we often use with the financial industry. So a lot of here is different configurations and different settings within Mia Proba, but I'm scrolling down to test metrics. So let me just add in a new one, and this will be uh, application, uh, applic oh, I can't type, application completes. Okay, application completes, and we're gonna make this an engagement goal. We are going to make it an amount, and then we're gonna do total sum, and then hit add. So now this is a a metric that is available for us when we archive activities, okay? So the program overview, this is where all the activities live when, when they um, are archived. You can see here there's zero, they haven't been added. But we have 14 activities that have been archived and collectively this was their program impact against the different organizational metrics. You can refine based off of locations and all that wonderful stuff as for those of you familiar with the um, the program overview page. But I'm quickly going to jump over to manage tickets, awaiting summary. And so I've got all of these tickets within here. So let me just grab this one. And so we have all, all of the ticket metadata that's available. Um, again, that could be customizable as needed. We can, we've got the, the data from Adobe Target uh, within here. Um, any commentary, the day by day graph. But I could say the learning, uh, uh, visitors, uh, this is fake. So visitors respond well to get started versus start now. And you know, you can put in additional commentary. Um, the location, you can say a home page, the outcome, let me say this was a significant win, any analysis. Um, but then when we go over here, here's all of our particular metrics. I'll add application completes, and let's just say we have 125. So this would be the net. So what, what some financial organizations are doing in Mia Prova is, is looking at the delta. Mia Prova will automatically grab the data. And let's say this was the delta here, and we wanted to just calculate, okay, 125, what have you. So we'll automatically grab all of that for you. But if you wanted to apply your own data sets or what have you for it, so you can do that. You can simply, um, let's say, archive it. Uh, let, me, uh, let me actually save it. I can send a test summary email out with all of the particular data and the impact and all that good stuff. But let me go ahead and archive it. And so now, now the test has been archived. And if I go over to the program overview, do, 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 do. you can see your 125. So this is a little best practice tip where you're, you're really providing visibility into uh, all of the test impact. And, and again, you customize this by Mia Proba Journey, where it'll default to, to the particular metrics. And the, the math is, is customizable. Mia Proba provides aggregate summation. You can do weighted averages, non-weighted averages, raw counts, lift, um, or just kind of uh, average lift. So thank you, just a real quick video. Any questions or other topics that'll be helpful to have in Mia Proba, let us know. Thank you.